YouTube, what's going on? It's Jamar here, Vegas Sense. Got a brand new video today. In this particular video, we're going to be comparing two fragrances, uh, Al Qaim Silver by Latafa Pride and Bulgari's Tiger, all right? So these two fragrances, or at least Bulgari's Tiger, that's definitely a fragrance that, you know, I've been intrigued by for a long time. I do like the smell of that particular, you know, scent DNA. And I've had a clone of it before, Alexandria Fragrances Black Panther. But like I've stated in previous videos, to me that the Alexandria version, the, the grapefruit in that one was just, it was amped up a little bit too much for me. And I didn't really enjoy wearing that particular fragrance. Uh, after purchasing the Al Qaim Silver though, I definitely enjoy this fragrance a lot more, um, even though it is still, uh, you know, a, a, a decently strong scent, I would say. For whatever reason, just the way that this one is blended, the way this one is composed, it doesn't really give me a headache the way that the Alexandria Fragrances version does, all right? So what we're looking to do in this video is to see whether or not it's actually worth it to save your money and you know buy the Latafa version or if it makes more sense for you to you know save or or if it makes more sense for you to you know basically shell out more money and pick up the Bulgari Tiger. So definitely in some cases there are certain fragrances that just can't really be cloned a hundred percent and the experience that you get with the original is you know such a great experience that you can't really you know get that copied with you know a clone i would say like roja's elysium parfum cologne is definitely one of those fragrances so let's see if that's actually the case here with bulgari's tiger all right so here we have the bottle of latifa prize al Qaim silver uh, this is a 100 ml bottle and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this for the best price that I've seen it, uh, which I actually bought a backup bottle of this today once I saw that it's actually going down from what I originally bought this at. Originally got this for like around 40 to $42 or so on Amazon. It's now $26 and some change on Amazon. So it's going down quite a bit. All right. So what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and get some of this on on skin and i also have this sprayed on some tester strips as well uh that have been sprayed you know at least i would say about probably three three and a half hours or so now but I want to get this on skin, at least for the opening anyway, so we can really see how this smells. All right. So I've got Bulgari Tiger on my left hand here and I'm going to spray the Al Qaim Silver on my right. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in. Sparkly grapefruit. Now, in the immediate opening, let's, you know, call it the first 10 or so seconds of the Al Qaim Silver. When comparing that to the Bulgari Tiger, you do get a little bit more alcohol uh, in that, you know, grapefruit citrus opening. So I will say that. However, now I would say these two are starting to become you know, more of, you know, carbon copies of each other, pretty much. Uh, the alcohol definitely settles down extremely quickly in the Latafa uh, Al Qaim Silver. And this is one thing that I noticed earlier um, when I actually put the, the Bulgari Tiger on my skin because I did do this right when I got it out of the mail. The Bulgari Tiger, at least on my skin, it's like it 
I don't know. And maybe it's because this isn't like a, a sprayer sample. This is just a one ml, uh, you know, kind of vile thing that has the thing that you kind of rub on your skin. What I've noticed with the Bulgari Tiger is when I put this on my skin, it it smells sort of as strong as the Latapa version for like, you know, maybe the first minute or so. And then it like really, really dies down. The, the Alkayam Silver, I would say right now, is at least twice as strong as uh, the Bulgari Tiger. Now, in terms of the smell, I would say that the, the Alkayam Silver smells identical to the Bulgari Tiger, just with the exception that I would say all of the notes are turned all the way up to 10. So, Everything I would say with the Tiger is probably like around a six right now. The Alkayam Silver is at a 10. And I would say it's not like there's a difference in smell. So it's not like the Alkayam Silver is brighter where maybe it has, you know, a little bit more citrus or it has more ambroxin or anything like that, or it's greener. That's not the case with the Alkayam Silver. It smells the same as Bulgari Tiger. Like I would say a 99% match, all right? It smells exactly the same, except it's just stronger. There's no difference in smoothness. There's no difference in like the quality of the smell. It's not like the Latafa version, it smells slightly cheaper. These smell exactly the same, except the Latafa version again is stronger. All right. So now I want to go into the, the dry downs of these two particular fragrances. All right. Uh, these two have been on these strips for about three, three and a half hours or so. This is the Latafa. This is the Bulgari Tiger. All right. So I'm going to start off with the Bulgari Tiger. Okay. Kind of clear my smell. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Um, I would say at this point, they they don't seem to be different in terms of strength anymore. I would say they're they're definitely about the same. Um, and I mean, definitely in terms of smell, these are 100% identical. I don't detect any sort of differences whatsoever. Um, Yeah, all I'm getting is just kind of like this woody sort of, you know, ambroxan, iso e super, you know, type of smell with equal strength, completely equal strength. So with that being said, man, I would have to say that if you're somebody that has been looking at purchasing Bulgari's Tiger and, you know, you just been trying to figure out a way to kind of, you know, scrap up almost $400 to drop on that particular fragrance. I would say it's not worth it to buy that fragrance unless you're like one of these fragrance collectors. And, you know, maybe you're trying to collect everything from the, the Bulgari Le Gem line. Um, or if you're one of these people that, you know, wants to have that bottle sitting on their shelf, then I would say that's when it would probably be worth it for you to just go ahead and buy the original fragrance. But I would say for anybody else, you know, if you're just somebody who is wanting to just smell good and, you know, maybe they have other things that they need to spend $400 on, then you're not going to miss any sort of the any any you're not going to miss any part of the experience with buying the Latafa version. 
The experience is exactly the same. The smell is exactly the same. And in terms of longevity, I can't really speak to that quite yet. Uh, you know, I, I would have to probably get a spray sample and actually, you know, wear the Bulgari Tiger like on a one side of my body and then the Latafa on the other and kind of see, you know, how they compare. But I mean, again, at least from what I've experienced with just kind of rubbing that fragrance out of the, the vial, definitely, at least on my skin anyway, the Bulgari Tiger seems to die down extremely quickly on my skin, all right? On the tester strips, they do seem to perform better, or at least the Bulgari Tiger does. But on my skin, it, it, it's not really performing really at all on my skin, all right? So my final verdict on this, definitely, man, go ahead and, and purchase that Alkayam Silver by Latafa Pride. It's more than worth it at $26, $30, $40. I, I mean, I would say this fragrance, with it being so close to Bulgari's Tiger, I would say this fragrance is probably worth it even at $60, $70, you know, if, if that's what it was ever priced at, all right? So if you have smelled this, this particular fragrance or both of them, let me know if you agree. Let me know if you think that Alkayam Silver is actually a carbon copy of Bulgari's Tiger, all right? And definitely, again, if you found this information helpful, go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not. And once again, it's Jamar here, Vegas Sense. I'll see y'all in the next video.